A hotel in Yemen's second city of Aden, which Khaled Baha, the Prime Minister and Vice President and members of the government are using as a base, has been hit by several blasts this morning. Government officials say Baha was not hurt, but there were other casualties. The Israeli army shot dead a 13-year-old Palestinian during clashes at a refugee camp near Bethlehem yesterday. Abdul Rahman Abdullah was struck in the chest by Israeli fire at the Ada refugee camp and is the second Palestinian teenager killed by Israeli soldiers over just 24 hours as clashes have spread across the territory. At least 57 people were killed yesterday in car bomb attacks in Baghdad and the north and south of Iraq. The biggest attack took place near a crowded market in the town of Khalis, about 80 kilometers northeast of Baghdad, killing 35 people. No group claimed responsibility for the attacks. Officials in South Carolina's capital city ordered areas south of a breached dam to be evacuated following days of storms that dumped what officials are calling historic levels of rain on the area. Nine deaths are being blamed on the storms in South Carolina, including five people who drowned when floodwaters swamped their vehicles. South Korea's Environment Ministry conducted emission tests of Volkswagen's diesel models today. Europe's largest car maker admitted to using software to rig diesel emission tests in the United States. Germany's transport minister says it also manipulated tests in Europe, where VW sells about 40% of its vehicles.